Nobody leaves voicemails anymore, unless it's from your grandma or like a rogue telemarketer, but that's a shame because there's something oddly personal about a voicemail once you get past all that awkwardness, especially when it's from your ex. What's up y'all, it's Emil Innis Jr. here, and after hearing the news, I might try to bring the voicemail back in style in 2020. As the old urban legend goes, they say that if you leave someone a voicemail, you're bound to end up as the intro to someone's SoundCloud mixtape. Oh, you've never heard of it? And I, don't worry, Harry Styles is here to help teach you. I've noticed lately more and more superstar artists are including personal voicemails in their songs, like Frank Ocean, Drake, and Ariana Grande. Many college students have gone to college and gotten hooked on drugs. Yeah, I have a phone call. Yeah, I'm sorry, you still like that. Here's the thing, you're in love with a version of a person that you've created in your head. What I'm trying to say is voicemails are used a ton as openings to songs. It's not necessarily a new trend either, but this is the first time that I've heard one entirely in French. So Harry Styles' long-awaited sophomore album dropped today, and as fans were listening to Fine Line, many of them had to go back and do a double or even a triple take of the end of the fifth. So obviously the question on everyone's mind was when they heard this song, who is that beautiful sounding French woman laughing in Harry's voicemail? Well, we've got some answers for you. The woman is one of Harry's ex-girlfriends. Unfortunately, I'm not talking about Kendall Jenner. She knows French, right? Kendall, can you say je t'aime? Je t'aime, I love you. Je t'aime. Oh, thank you, thank you. The voicemail that I'm talking about is from none other than Camille Rowe. The two dated for about a year from mid-2017 to 2018, and she also walked in the 2016 Victoria's Secret fashion show shortly before she and Harry got together, which by the way, Kendall Jenner also walked in. The two are supposedly pretty serious as well. Camille even met Harry's parents during their time together, and sources say that the breakup took quite a toll on Harry. Tom Hull, a friend and collaborator of Harry's, told Elle in August, quote, he had a whole emotional journey about her, this whole relationship. And I guess that emotional journey resulted in this hot new album, which Harry has described as being about having sex and being sad. Now that the album is out, we can all see just how true that is. Tom reportedly told Harry the best way of dealing with heartbreak is to put it in these songs you're writing. And Harry had to agree telling Rolling Stone, it's not like I've ever sat and done an interview, so I was in a relationship and this is what happened, because for me, music is where I let that cross over. It's the only place, strangely, where it feels right to let that cross over. And now he's using Camille's own words in his song, but don't worry, he told Zane Lowe that he asked for Camille's permission before using the voicemail. He said, quote, when we listened back to the album, I asked her to add it in. I wanted Cherry to reflect how I felt then. I was feeling not great. It's all about being not great. Because you get petty when things don't go the way you want it, there's parts that's so pathetic. The whole song is shaped around their breakup and the heartbreak that Harry feels in the aftermath. There are lyrics like, I just miss your accent and your friends. Did you know I still talk to them? And it all ends with that short voicemail from the time that Harry and Camille were still together. Sure, it's all in French and distorted, but since it's 2019, we have the tools to decipher what it says. The voicemail reads, hello, are you asleep? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, no, nope, it's not important. Well then, we went to the beach and now we, perfect Harry. I mean, that fully broke my heart and I wasn't even involved in the relationship, but I wanna know, what do you guys think? Do you see these two getting back together? Would you let your ex use a voicemail of yours in the song about you? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And then make sure you subscribe to Clever News if you wanna stay up to date on all the hottest news stories and click right over here to watch another brand new video. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. and I'll see you soon.